Well guys, a lot of questions about the dark pools, a lot of you asking why dark pools are even legal. So let's go over the details and see what is the purpose of the dark pools. So first of all, they're very confidential. They're working in the model over the counter trades. They're not using exchanges that we're using because they're not buying 100,000, 100,000 shares. They're buying blocks of stocks. And when uh, these guys are buying so many stocks, they're trading so much uh, volume, they want better deals, right? In most cases, they don't even pay exchange fees for doing these trades. So number one, the most important, they have the confidentiality. So they don't have to disclose, hey, we purchased uh, 10 blocks of stocks of Microsoft and uh, or we sold Apple or we did this, we did that because they don't want anyone else on the market, their competitors or small uh, players to mirror their investment strategy. For example, everyone uh, was looking at ARK portfolio, ARK Invest portfolio last year, outperforming anyone else, any other ETFs on the market. But ARK Invest publicly announced, hey, today we add to this position from this company. Today we sold some of this position. So in this way, ARK Invest don't actually care that people are seeing their actions on the market. But I guess that works fine for ARK Invest because they have only long positions. Uh, if you are a hedge fund and if you have a short position, long position, uh, short positions generally have a bad image on the market and all the people who want to invest, all the uh, wealth management teams that are associated with the hedge fund, uh, they, they, they always have to recruit uh, new people to invest their millions of dollars, right? Wealthy individuals. And when you try to recruit a wealthy individual to invest with you in the hedge fund, they don't want to hear nothing about your reputation that is associated with the short company, with uh, having a higher potential risk for their investment portfolio. So being a confidential offer, confidential uh, trades is very, very important, especially for the hedge funds, especially with our case with AMC. Uh, this is why they're using uh, ETFs, using uh, different over the counter trades. In this way, it's very, very hard to track how many shares they're actually moving, how many shares are shorting and what is the current accessibility, the number of shares available in these ETFs to be shorted. From one side, this might actually make sense because for example, if Citadel uh, go on Weibo and uh, try to buy what uh, 100,000 shares, uh, the algorithm will actually detect a huge buying uh, pressure, right? Which is not good for them. It's not good for Citadel because this will pump the, 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 the price of the stock. This is why what they will do, they will use over the counter trade because during this trade, during these exchanges, they're buying, they're borrowing uh, stocks, right? They're selling stocks. This doesn't have direct effect over uh, the stock market, right? They don't see it. Uh, the real exchanges don't see it. The computers are not counting on the algorithm changes due to these trades because they're over the counter. They're not existing on the surface. So this is very important for them, especially from them that wants to keep a certain stock of certain company lower and lower and lower because if they really want uh, to buy or to have to execute the order on the open market on the surface uh, this will actually have an opposite effect for them also they have to pay uh, tons of fees using uh, open exchanges uh, as i mentioned most cases when they're using over the counter uh, private exchanges they don't pay uh, exchange fees because uh, we know when uh, we want to see the ratio of certain hedge funds uh, from long and short positions, you just go on Fintech. The lack of transparency and uh, the lack of regulation uh, makes dark pools uh, tool that hedge funds are using uh, in worst case scenario. When they're out of option out there on the market, they're using dark pools to hedge their position. Uh, so as much as uh, I'm pissed off seeing that the majority of the flow majority of the volume uh, that we're seeing every day on the market is coming from uh, dark pools. I'm happy to uh, realize that basically they're in very, very hard situation because they have to use dark pool every single day just to maintain and hedge their positions. Uh, meanwhile, uh, speaking uh, for AMC, AMC just built a staircase to the moon. Well, guys, thanks again for stopping by. I hope uh, we at least clear up some of the information that is available out there. I believe 80% of the information that is not available is probably the most important part of the information. But uh, I believe at some point in the future, there will be a team from SEC that is willing to change and at least limit the access, limit the trades, limit the capacity of these dark pools. Because as we can see, there is definitely an inefficiency on the market uh, from 
of course, the side of the institutional investors. Because the individual investor is already here. Individual investor is not sleeping. There is no Saturday uh, or Sunday. They always checking the charts, no matter that charts are not moving. Because uh, there will be more and more individual investors uh, on the stock market in the future. There will be no longer uh, dominance from the institutional investors. Subscribe to the channel guys, like this video, check out the second channel and come back for more.